Hi, my name is Michael Lee. I'm a writer and an actor here in Colorado Springs, and I'm one of the collaborators on the Fine Arts Center 3x3 project, Strange Land, the King and Queen of Science Fiction in Colorado Springs. Our project is about science fiction author Robert Heinlein and his wife Virginia's time living here in Colorado Springs. I first learned about Robert Heinlein when I was a teenager and I read Stranger in a Strange Land and it really sparked an interest in me in science fiction literature. Um, although Heinlein is considered one of the big three golden age science fiction <clears throat> authors, most people are more familiar with his contemporaries, Arthur Clarke, who wrote 2001 A Space Odyssey, and Isaac Asimov, who wrote the iRobot series. Uh, when we discovered that Heinlein was living here in Colorado Springs, we decided that it would be a great idea for a project. So I got together with my brother, who's a historical researcher, our friend Ian Stewart, who's an amazing artist, and we came up with an idea to do this short video on the Heinlein's time here in the Springs. Um, we had way more than enough material for the amount of time that we had, so we really tried to narrow things down to kind of the essential parts of the story. And we hope that we were able to give some insight into a kind of undiscovered part of local history. So we hope you enjoy it, and thank you so much. Hello, my name is Patrick Lee, and I am the historian and co-writer for the project Strange Land, the King and Queen of Science Fiction in Colorado Springs. When my brother Michael Lee first told me that Robert Heinlein had lived in Colorado Springs, I was really surprised because during my time working in and studying local history, I had never heard that. This is undeniably one of the most well-known science fiction authors of the 20th century, but the cultural and political role that he and his wife Virginia had in Colorado Springs has gone completely unstudied. In fact, during the course of my research, I even had one local archivist refer to the myth of Robert Heinlein in the Springs, and that is a consequence of this topic never being integrated into the local historical conscious. I thought that maybe Robert and Virginia had a nice summer home in Colorado Springs, but in fact, this was their main place of residence for almost 17 years. Virginia, in particular, was involved with many organizations and activities in the city. By studying this famous couple through the lens of local history, we can understand not only how they influenced local politics and philosophy, but we start to understand how Colorado Springs formed the way they thought and lived. This project came together very smoothly because my brother Michael is a very talented performer and writer and has a great knowledge of science fiction's cultural influence. Then with Ian Stewart, who's an extremely talented graphic designer and artist, we as a group were able to package the entire topic in an engaging and informative way. The depth of historical information that Ian was able to convey is amazing, and so much of his imagery is based directly on historical photos. You can't tell a 17-year history in 10 minutes, but with a completely unknown topic, you have to start somewhere. And I can say we accomplished the purpose of our project because we've taken this story from myth to recognized local history. Thank you, and enjoy. Hey, my name is Ian Stewart. Uh, I'm the artist and animator on this 3x3 project. Um, it's been really fun working with Michael and Patrick. I was really excited uh, when they came to me with this project. I've always been a big science fiction fan, um, so it's really cool learning about Robert Heinlein's time uh, here in the Springs. Um, Patrick and Michael uh, provided me with a great archive of um, historical reference photos, uh, just a lot of really good stuff for me to draw from, which was awesome. Um, Mike did a great job with the narration, gave it a good sort of 1950s sci-fi vibe, um, which really works well with the video. Um, for the animation, I used uh, the Adobe Creative Suite, uh, so I would draw images in Photoshop um, and then bring them into After Effects and Premiere. Um, and add motion to them there. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project, and thank you.